sure you do, duh. Look with those baby blues. How could you not? I want to play a little game with you. It's how well do you know your castmates and crew? Uncredited as a wedding guest in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. But what year is that? 2010. It has to be hottie. Zink. Mm. Or it could have been It has you. to be Zink. He's it's British. Okay. Daisy. Or, I mean, it has reggae. to be one of these two. Oh, it's not you, then it's reggae. Yeah. One of us knows it's not that. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, just essentially being undercover on sex. I was doing background work at the time, and I was just learning how actors worked on massive sets. So I was watching Emma hide her phone under the napkins in the wedding scene and going, cool, that's what actors do. I was watching kind of how the director interacted with the set. I was just kind of picking up, just watching and learning and observing. It's a great way to spy. Were you a magical person? Oh yeah, had a wand in my pocket the whole time, it was great. That's so cool, wait. Wand or uh, yeah. that's yeah, not... exactly. <laughs> so where do you set them up? <laughs> where would you hide your phone on this, this one? I yeah. mean, I got a suit of armor, so I got like all kinds of little mm. nuggets and places to put it in. But, word of advice, in suits of armor, you, it ends up bruising you if you put it in the wrong places. Cool. Every time you go gotcha. stretch on the... Yeah, kinda. yeah, yeah. So, you know, I suffered for my art um, mm. and for my need to communicate. Sounds lovely. Quite the opposite. I know, I was being ironic. Whose first IMDb credit was playing the lead role as a boxer? Michelle Rodriguez. Girl fight. Who has three different Ken dolls made in his likeness? You, you. <laughs> <laughs> sure you do, duh. Look with those baby blues. How could you not make a Ken doll out of it? Uh, Why? Because I asked them to. <laughs> yeah. You are a Ken doll at Star Trek no, no, no. for sure. Okay, Star Trek. That's one. But you are a Ken doll. It's Chris. Okay. Oh, it's Chris. Chris. Yeah. Any any idea what uh, the Star three Trek? Are? That's one. Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then another Wonder Woman. And then yeah, two, two, yeah, yeah, two, two Steve Travers. I thought exactly. it was just the power of the Chris Pine. It's just like the man existed <laughs> and someone said we need dolls. Yes. You know what? I'm ready to go. <laughs> Who auditioned several times for Les Mis on Broadway but was never tall enough to play Gavroche? Hugh Grant? I mean. Oh, yeah. Hugh? Obviously. This feels so, Hugh ish. That's maybe Hugh. Me. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> that is true? That was me. Yeah. Okay. My dad was a Broadway actor, so I came up in Broadway doing that stuff, but too, too short for. Uh, Gavroche. I actually was singing a Les Mis song in the shower a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, you know, I'll sing anything. I'm an iPod in my head. That's a dated reference. Who sang the Pokemon theme song for his fourth IMDb credit? Justice. Justice. He yeah. sings every other song. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to sing a lot. <laughs> what? This guy. And when then did later. You sing it? Was in I a sang it movie. in the first movie I ever did, with Paper Towns. And I want to put on record, it was my idea to sing it. The original song was Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus, but Pitch Perfect at the time just did that. And so we were trying to think of another song, and I said we should do the Pokemon theme song. And then we did the Pokemon theme song, and then I ended up being in the Pokemon so like, movie years later. I didn't know you had Pokemon to you. I know, right? Justice Smith. You're right, you're right. We're like six for six or something. Yeah. You love Pokemon. No. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Recorded a duet with Barbara Streisand on her album. Oh, that's me, baby. Yes, you did. Nominated for a Grammy. Well, Thank you so much. Oh, Thank awesome. you very much. <laughs> Was an honor student and holds a black belt in Kung Fu. John. Francis Daly. That's the one. Michelle just told me in the hallway. Ah. Cheater. I also have a black belt. That's not on IMDb. I guess my previous manager must have put honor student in there. I don't know why, or my mom. Uh, but yeah, black belt. Now if I tried to do the splits that I did as a kid, I would break myself. 